Alright guys, here's a quick welding tip. Well, it's more of a fabrication tip if you're doing a welding job that involves square tubing. Now, uh, in this case, I have, I have um, this whole apparatus right here, and I have a piece of square tubing. Now, anyone who's ever welded square tubing before or anything, I, you can see it here. You can see right on there, you can see that little notch in there. And everyone knows that that's the weld line. So you can see the colors right here. That's the weld line um, for the square tubing. Now, I need this piece of square tubing to go all the way through into this one. And now, anyone can see where that's a problem because that, that weld line, it won't let me push the square tubing through even though this is the right size. So here's a little tip for you that will help you um, be able to do that without having to grind all this out. And it actually gives it a kind of a sleek look if you do it right. So I'll show you how to basically map it out first, then we'll show you how to cut it. So first you're going to insert your piece of square tubing, sort of on the angle, so right, right, it's like so it's all centered. And you're going to take a nice big hammer and give it a whack. When you pull it out, you got this nice fat ding right at the end right there, right in the center. And that tells me exactly, that's exactly where that weld line is. Flip it over. Do it on the other side. You can see again. Got a nice, nice ding in there. It's all good, I guess you could say. So now, if you look at our piece of square tubing, we got a ding there and a ding there. So now you're going to take a ruler and a scribe and scribe those lines together, and we'll come back right after we do that. All right. So now I got my line scribed right down the center from each. Um, each little notch and now we're gonna go over to my workbench right over here and um, we're gonna clamp this in a C clamp and what you're gonna do is take a grinding disc um, a cutting disc and you're just gonna run it right along inside there try to keep it real nice and straight and then what I'll show you what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the grinding disc and the grinding disc runs this way and then you're gonna walk you're gonna walk the grinding disc like this and then walk it on angle like that so not in the groove you're gonna hold it and so it's going to take that, that groove, that's, it, it would be like this for that thing. It's going to take it and it's going to bring it like that. So it's going to, it's going to open up and flare the edges so it, it'll have some freedom to move inside here, inside this thing. I mean, it won't move like this too much because obviously it's a tight fit. But it'll, it's like, it's like when you're deburring something and you put a, and you countersink this. to it kind of helps you find your screw a little bit easier, kind of puts it in there and it helps you start it faster or whatever like like on this right here if you look how that's in there it'll help me find my screw faster because it's like that but so let's go over to the grinder and we'll show it to you alright so I got my piece all clamped up here right to my workbench and um, now we got it you can see my line probably faintly but now we're just going to take my angle grinder and basically you're just going to hold it and you're going to run it right along that line you're just going to walk it all through there and right now what you're going to want to do is just get a nice basic line in there so so let's do it so now I got it all cut out I got my groove laid in there and uh, then you're going to have to do a little bit of adjusting those those lines aren't perfect in there and obviously this isn't going to be perfect and um, don't do this if it's something that's going to be polished if it's this in this case this is going to be powder coated so any little scratch that's on the outside anywhere else it's not going to show up so it doesn't matter but on things that are just going to be high polish and stuff like that where you're going to see little nicks and stuff like that don't do this technique but it's pretty good for little jobs that don't really matter but so we'll go over to the piece over here and test fit it out all right so now get our um, square piece of tubing now we're just going to test fit it There you go. Cut your little notch in there. You can see it follows right in the weld line. And now it fits in there perfectly. And how this is going to work now is this is going to go in there. I'm going to weld this. And then the other piece of square tubing, which is the rest of the, this part up here, it's going to clamp right in. There's going to be a hole drilled about right here. And you throw a, throw a bolt. Um, throw a bolt through it. And then just tighten it down. When you want to take it apart, you take, take the bolt out. Do that. 
I was I was gonna also think about doing pins uh, on this, but I don't know where I can even find those. But like a big pin, oh, I could just take a big pin, throw it through there, and throw like a RC car body clip through there. Cause it just needs to hold it from just needs to hold in that nut. This this entire thing is gonna hold the whole thing in. But so yeah, there's a nice little tip for you. Hopefully uh, it was helpful. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. And yeah.